everyone knows that the best way to bulk muscle is on the bulk. Eating more calories lets you gain muscle faster and get strong quickly. But when I started, I've made some big mistakes when it comes to gaining weight, which led to slower gains and less progress. So here are some of the mistakes I made that you should avoid. Mistake number one is chicken and rice. And what I mean by that is eating way too much low calorie dense foods. If you're struggling with gaining weight and eating enough calories, you have to eat more of these high calorie dense meals. While chicken and rice are great and nutritious options, there are way better options if you want to bulk up. So for example, if you swap out the chicken breast for ground beef, for example, you can see that you have way more calories for the same amount of volume of food. You'll be evenly satiated, evenly full in both of the meals, but you have way more calories while eating the ground beef instead of the chicken breast. So eating these high calorie dense meals is very important if you want to bulk up and especially if you are a hard gainer. Some high calorie dense foods I usually eat are full fat milk, full fat yogurt, ground beef, pasta and nuts for example. So if you want to bulk up, try to eat some of these I just mentioned. Mistake number two is eating too much protein. Now you're probably thinking what protein is amazing for building muscle, why should I eat less protein? Thing is, protein is essential for building muscle, but the one gram per pound of body weight that the people usually say is probably a little bit too much, especially if you want to bulk up and are a hard gainer. And here's why. The first reason is that protein is very filling. So if you say have 100 calories of rice and 100 calories of chicken breast, you're way more full from the chicken breast than the rice. You also know that. So if you want to eat more calories, eating a lot of protein isn't the best option. Still want to have enough protein, but one gram per pound of body weight probably is too much. Another reason, and a lot of people don't even know this, is that protein takes a lot of energy to, di to digest. So if you have uh, 100 calories of protein and 100 calories of carb, for example, the carbs, it only takes about 10% to fully digest it. So from the 100 calories you started with, 10% is used to actually put it in your body and get to use. Your net gain is actually like 90 calories. But for protein, it's way higher. The percentage of energy it takes to digest the protein is about 25 to 35 percent. So if you eat 100 calories of protein, about one third will be wasted to actually get in your body. And the last reason why eating too much protein probably isn't good for bulking is that, see, if you're on a cut, eating a lot of protein is amazing, even maybe more than one gram per pound of body weight. On a cut, your body wants to break down your muscle because it has no energy. So what it actually, your brain actually tells your body is, I have no food, make me lighter. So get rid of the muscle because that's really expensive to keep on my body. So your brain tells your body to get rid of the, the muscle. But if you eat enough protein, that process is slowed down. But on a bulk, you have enough calories. So your brain isn't actually telling your body to break down any of the muscle. So muscle actually stays there. And there's no need to break it down because you have an excess in calories or in a surplus. So the one gram, per pro one gram of protein per pound of body weight is maybe a little bit too high. So what I advise is 0.8 grams per pound or that's about 1.8 grams per kilo of body weight. If you hit that, you're well set for hitting your protein and even getting more calories because you're less full and all the other reasons I just told you. Mistake number three is not adding fats to your meals. And what I mean by that is you aren't fully taking advantage of fats. So fats have nine calories per gram instead of the four calories per gram of protein and uh, carbs. So it's over two times as high as the other ones. If you just in, add in like a little bit of oil in your rice or pasta, for example, you can bump up the total calories by about 100. If you do that like two, three times per day, it's like two, 300 calories extra. That's actually like already a big part of your surplus. And if you not only do that like with olive oil in your rice or pasta, but also do that by, eat, for example, eating full fat milk, 
full, drinking full fat milk, eating full fat yogurt or other things like adding nuts to all of your meals or uh, snacking on it throughout the day, you can already add like 500 calories easily without even noticing it. So what I usually do is, like I just mentioned, I uh, drink like full fat milk, eat full fat yogurt, and also in the full fat yogurt, I usually have like 30 grams of nuts or something, but that's already 200 calories of just only by the nuts. And also like in my dinner, I add like one tablespoon of olive oil to my rice or pasta. So by just doing that, I already have 400 calories or so without even noticing it. And it's actually way tastier, so that's a must if you wanna bulk up. And the final mistake I made was not using the whole day to eat. So what I found is that it is a lot easier to eat about five or six smaller meals in a day than three or four bigger ones. But if you wanna achieve that, you have to use your whole day to eat your food. You have to space out your meals as much as possible. What I recommend is to eat within the first hour of you waking up and within the last two hours of you going to sleep. What I usually do is within the first hour of waking up, I already have my first meal. And my last meal of the day is about one hour before I, yeah, one hour before I go to sleep. But what's important for your last meal is that it isn't that big of a meal. Because if it is, it is harder for you to fall asleep. We also know that sleep is essential for building muscle, bulking up, and also very important for overall health. Try to make your last meal not that big. So what I usually do is like what I just mentioned, I have my bowl of yogurt with some little bit of nuts and also some fruit in it. And I have that meal because it's easy to digest, which makes it a perfect option before going to sleep. And that's it. I hope this video helped you with some of the mistakes I made that you should now avoid. Comment down below what you'd like to see next and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.